Hello there <clears throat> to all of my subscribers. Are you staying up late tonight like I am? Reading the news all about crime and stuff going on in America? It's absolutely depressing. Today I'm reading the news. This evening I'm reading the news. And down there in that Texas appeals court, guess what? They halted the execution for that guy who's been sitting in there 20 plus years because they say that he didn't have that much to do about it with the crime that was committed. Even though he went in there and helped the guy finish up the robbery after the guy shot that man, left him laying there to die. But this guy didn't have that much to do with it. Oh no. Okay, can we talk about something here? Can we talk about common sense and crime? Okay. This is Mo's opinion. It is August 21st, 2016. It is almost 10 o'clock at night here in Chinook, Kansas. Now, I want to talk about common sense and crime. Okay. You know, I was raised by a hard woman. The woman that raised me was like a grandma to me. She was not my actual mother, but, <clears throat> but she behaved like a mother. You know, she took care of me. And I want to tell you something. She was mean. She was mean to the core. She was also over half Cherokee Indian. She was tough right down to the nail. Tough. No one had much to say to her unless they were four to six feet away from her. Because if she didn't like what you said, she's liable to take your head off. Okay, in defense of herself, she had no problem tearing you a new one. Opening up a can of whoop ass. If she had to, she would do it. What I don't understand is how anyone can go out and commit a crime and then go to court and say, Oh, I was just driving the car. Had no idea what was going on. Known this guy forever, but I didn't know what was going on. Oh, no, not me. How can you do that? How can you go to court and make yourself look like a complete idiot to save your own skin? Is that it? To save your own skin, you would lie. You would rather stay in jail for the rest of your life than tell the truth. To take your punishment. You know, I've always been told, you do the crime, you do the time. If you can't handle the punishment, then don't do the crime. That's it. That's the way it is. Common sense. You know, when I was a little kid, I was probably about 10 years old, maybe. <clears throat> My grandma used to pile us all in the car and take us to the grocery store. Okay, because we were young. She wouldn't leave us at home by ourselves. So, she'd have to take all of us to the store. And by the time we all get in the car, the car's full, right? So, we go down to the grocery store. And no one's really paying attention to us kids. We're just following along behind grandma there. You know, getting groceries. And she usually would put stuff in the cart. And she wasn't paying attention to us kids. We just ran around the store while she was shopping. So, me being a stupid 10-year-old. Okay, I didn't have much sense. And I wouldn't say that at the age of 10, I had a lot of common sense. Really. I didn't. I really didn't think that much about it. But I was 10. Okay. And back when I was 10, I knew what was wrong and right. Okay, but what I thought was, hey, you know, I'm tough. I'm going to get away with it. 
because I, I can do this. I'm sneaky. And also, back when I was 10, there really wasn't a whole lot of um, technology and stuff watching you when you shopped. I mean, I don't even know if they had cameras in the stores back then. But anyway, we got up there to the counter and everybody's checking out, you know, and we get out of the store and we get in the car. And me, being stupid, I go to pulling that candy out of my pocket. And my grandma pulled that car over on the side of the road and yanked me out of that car. And she questioned me right there in the middle of the street. Where did you get that candy? Did you pay for it? Well, you know what? If I lied to her, she would have beat the hell out of me right there in public. So, I told her the truth. I put it in my pocket and I walked out with it. You know, my grandmother took me home. And she beat me. Until I thought my legs were going to fall off. My bottom end was so red by the time she got done with me. It looked like an apple. I mean, she beat me good. Then she made me change clothes. She made me put on shoes. Comb my hair. And we were going back to the store. And she took me back to the store and made me tell the manager of that store what I did. And then I had to stay there and work off the price of that candy. I had to sweep the entire store with a broom. Not a push broom, a regular straw broom. I swept that entire store and it was huge. And I had to do it until that store closed that night to pay back for stealing that candy. I don't even remember how much it cost, but you know what? From that day forward, I never did it again. Never. I wouldn't even think of doing it. And to this very day, I won't. I wouldn't even now. But it's not because I know people are watching me. It's because I know what's right and wrong. I have common, common sense now. Okay, where are, where are the people with common sense these days? Where is it? Who do these criminals think they are? That they can just go into court and boldface lie. Oh, I didn't know what was going to happen. You know, if you're hanging out with someone who robs and steals, okay, and hurts people. I mean, he was involved with this guy before. They had stole stuff before. He knew that the guy was a criminal already. Before the incident with the clerk. He knew that. But he still went with him to that store. He knew his friend had a gun. He knew that his friend took the gun in there. He knew it. There's absolutely no way that this guy is going to convince me he didn't know it. Because he knew the guy was the bad news already. My, my grandmother used to tell me all the time, If you know there's trouble lurking around, get out of there. Get out of there and come home. Leave that situation. Don't stay there and get in trouble. You know what? That's common sense. My grandmother taught me common sense. And there are so many people that just think they can just throw up their hands. Oh, I didn't know. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. If you got any sense at all, then you probably know. You know. Deep in your heart, you know the wrong people from the right people. You know that. I have so many friends that I would trust with my life. And you know why? Because I know the difference between right and wrong. And I've got common sense. These criminals who are going out here and just doing shit just because, they've got no common sense. None. They just think they can get away with it. And our judicial system is letting them get away with it. We put them in jail. We take care of them. Feed them three meals a day. We give them a free bed to sleep on. We give them free education, free medical care. While there are people out here in the United States that cannot get a bite to eat. But the criminals, they get it all. 
Where's the common sense? Hit the subscribe button. Tell me what you think. And leave me a comment. I will read them all and I will get back with you. This is my opinion on common sense and criminals. Thank you.